and everything's good. Great, thanks everyone. Um, so my name is Scott Simmons. I am the Chief Standards Officer at the OGC, which means really I help look after all those standards development activities in OGC. And I want to give a little bit of almost closing context for what we've talked about the last two days, and that is where are all these activities that you've been talking about uh, fitting within other OGC activities? And so it's really twofold. One is how are we approaching these cloud native topics? And then what are the specific action items we're undertaking? If you look at the way OGC right now operates, we're not just a standards development operation. OGC also performs exercises, experiments, practical research against those standards we developed, as well as defining requirements that may be useful for standardization through our innovation program. So the right side of this cycle shows that traditional development of standards uh, that we follow. And on the left side, you can see how we might research against those standards after they're published, or define requirements that may be later topics for standardization. And so use cases and requirements that are gonna drive standards and best practices can intersect both in the right direction and the left direction here in the middle of this cycle. We experiment on these use cases in context, and then we solve discrete problems. And so I'm gonna approach these from both perspectives. We'll start with experimentation and go to the discrete work. So it is more than just formats. We've talked a lot about formats for the last couple of days, but the formats live in the context of an entire ecosystem. There is an ecosystem in the cloud. It's really important, and we need to find the formats, the practices, and the business operations that support that cloud. And so if we look at our innovation program activities to address the cloud in general, you can look at that fundamental work necessary to design and populate your cloud be that looking at the engineering formats that are necessary, uh, how we might federate the clouds, how we might build and lay these things out. And you can see test beds going back several years, uh, working on this just general approach to the cloud. We then need to federate and further secure the cloud. And so we've looked at federation amongst uh, similar and cross cloud environments and securing these. We then also work on development of cloud-based platform. What are those entities of software environments and the supporting formats necessary so that you have a platform against which to work? And then finally, you gotta make a business on the cloud, be that a nonprofit for a government operation or something um, from a commercial standpoint, how do we actually provision to the cloud and how do we make money on it? Well, part of that work has, uh, is realized with Stack. So Stack right now is a fully compliant OGC API features standard uh, implementation. It's been in deep collaboration with OGC since 2018 with our first hackathon to work on what was then Web Feature Service 3. And Stack continues to coordinate with our OGC API records. And the API from Stack is being proposed as a potential future uh, OGC community standard. And when we talk about those formats, back to that discrete work that we're doing in the standardization program, there's a number of them in work in OGC right now. So ZAR, great discussion on ZAR yesterday and furthering today, uh, is currently in the final steps of the OGC community standard adoption process. And so if our members agree to start that vote, it'll start in the next couple of weeks and everything should be wrapped up uh, in June. Once ZAR has been approved, we've been approached by the GeoZAR community to bring uh, that in as perhaps a full OGC standard on the standards track, referencing ZAR as a community standard. COG, Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF, the draft specification based on the really excellent uh, code and drivers that have been available for COG for some time now, uh, was developed under Testbed 17 last year, and you can see a link here to an engineering report showing that draft specification. And now our GeoTIFF standards working group is working on the candidate standard in GitHub, and here's a link to see where uh, COG is being developed now. GeoParquet is being incubated right now in the Open Geospatial GitHub repository for GeoParquet. Uh, GeoParquet may be a really suitable uh, cloud native vector format for all of us to use. And so potentially depending on how this incubation goes and whether we get adequate implementations and, and confidence in our community, we can move that into a standardization track in OGC as well. And Howard just a few minutes ago gave you a great brief on uh, cloud optimized Point Clouds, and that was presented as well to the OGC members at the December 2021 member meeting. Uh, lots more good content today. And LAS uh, is already an OGC community standard, and depending on what our community wants, we've got a lot of members that are very interested in COP, um, or Coptic, or whatever you want to call it, that might also be suitable for an OGC community standard. 
And with that, thank you very much for your time. Uh, and I appreciate uh, everyone's time today. Thank you so much, Scott. That was, uh, was great getting some uh, context uh, and, and vision from OGC on, on these efforts. Uh, all right.